and welcome. Tonight we sit down to a feast of contests to sort the gold from the silver. This is Sports Desk. First up, it's paper, scissors and rock. This has been a controversial event, with some claiming it's more of a game of luck than skill, but these contestants are passionate, I can tell you that. We cross now to Taylor at Triple E Arena. Well yes, this round is between two heavyweights of paper, scissors, rock. You cut the tension with a pair of scissors. Both their stats look good on paper. That means nothing in the arena. Introducing in the red corner, the champion, Knuckles. And the challenger, Fingers. There's no love lost between these two bitter rivals. There's been a lot of trash talk and a long history of mutual dislike. Let's have a listen as the referee lays down the law. Come in, all right you two. Keep it clean, protect yourself at all times. Best of three, shake hands. Three, two, one, go. Wow, what a contest. I'm lost for words. Back to you. An endurance event, an examination of the stamina and strength while wearing a bathrobe and a sauna. They're clocking in at about 2 hours and 50 minutes. Here's our reporter Katie with more. At 65 degrees. Humidity is about 75%. I can tell you, it's very, very cosy in here. Let's have a word with one of the competitors. <laughs> Sauna and endurance is all about the mental game. How do you keep a cool head in this competition? I usually put a whole entire bag of ice down my back. What do you do to prepare for this event? I drink a dozen Gatorade and jump into someone's farm and tackle their sheep. What keeps you from shriveling up like a raisin? I put a whole entire gallon of V over my head. Well, it's getting hot in here and also very difficult to see anything. Back to you. Hot stuff. Over now to the event that combines all the adrenaline of extreme sports with the satisfaction of being a well pressed shirt. I'm talking about extreme ironing. Let's check in with... Olivia, who had a look at the drama unfolding as the event leaders took their boards earlier today. Yes, I'm here with Amelia, who is ironing in the Amazon jungle, where there are plenty of deadly spiders and snakes to spice things up. To add to the fun, we're ironing directly under a wasp nest. Amelia, how do you feel going into this today? Well, I don't actually really know, but I'm going to finish up again this shirt. Okay then. Well, some people have said you are past your best and bound to lose. How do you react to that? Well, they're lying. Okay. Any concerns with the location? It's the best place ever and that's all I could find. Okay then. Well, all the best with your event. I'm going to throw back to the studio now at several and things are heading downhill from here as we join the shopping cart trolley race. In this event, danger-loving daredevils race through the crowded streets clinging to a shopping trolley. The goal is to cross the finish line first, but judges will also be rewarding costume sabotage and trickery. Organisers say, we do not care how fast you are, we care how awesome you are. Here's our reporter, Jazzy. Yes, I'm in the trolley with some of these crazy contestants. Ah, uh, watch out for that bus. So tell me, why did you take up this bizarre sport? Because my mum made me. Ah, uh, look out. You've had to deal with a lot of injuries while preparing for this event. What were some of them? I broke my toe and rolled my ankle. What sort of chance do you think you have of winning this? 100% chance well, I think we're about to crash in spectacular style, so back to you at the Sports Desk. And that's it for this edition of Sports Desk. We'll be back tomorrow with another serving of the world's silliest sports, but until then, ka and good night.